Hey guys, so today's look is based on a drawing that I did on a flight a while ago and I've got my base done so I'm going straight in with the colors. I'm using ColourPop's Cute AF palette. I'm starting with a super light transition color on all the areas that I know I want to apply the orange on later, mostly on the edges of those areas so that I can get a really beautiful fade. Then going in with Sugar Pills Love Plus, I'm mapping out the areas even more. Starting to add the color and really just going little by little and blending those colors out. Now Love Plus is a pure red, so I want this to be more orange. So I'm going back in with the Cute AF palette and just adding a bit of a deeper orange tone. I'm also using this color to contour my nose and make it seem a little bit straighter and a little bit more snatched than it is. I also wanted to give this a very artsy feel to it, so I painted some orange around my nostrils and lips as well. Now I'm deepening everything with the red in the Cute AF palette. I'm concentrating it on the tops of my cheekbones and around my nose. I'm also using this color to help contour my nose. Just cause you're looking all rosy doesn't mean you can't be contoured and snatched. Then I concentrated a lighter orange tone on my cheek area. I also started defining my crease with a burnt orange color. Then I went in with an even darker red shade, also by ColourPop, and just deepened my crease and along my bottom lash line. Then to deepen that even more, I went in with the Black Moon Cosmetics Orb of Light palette, which is my favorite palette in the world. Honestly, this palette combined with the Cute AF that's all you need in your life. You really don't need anything else. You'll notice that all this look pretty much is, is just me going in with different intensities of oranges and reds to really build that gradient up and build that gradient also very slowly. So have it be as blended out as possible. So it's about going from the lighter colors into the darker ones and just intensifying slowly as you go along. Then I tried using yellow along the edges to blur them out even more, but I wasn't a huge fan so I went in with a really really pale cream color to just help blend that out into my own skin color. For this step you would want to use something that is similar to your skin tone. Then I went in with a brown from the Orb of Light palette along my lower lash line and really intensifying that crease. I should also mention that I did my crease far above my actual crease to kind of give it a more of an artsy element to it. I also helped blend those crease lines with a lighter orange and I wanted to leave my lids light but not completely bare so I went in with a paler shade. I also used that shade to blend the edges of certain areas and then back in with that yellow still not sure why because I wasn't too happy with it. <laughs> Next with the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette Volume 1 I'm using the really pale yellow shade, basically just highlighting the areas that I left blank. I'm going in with two incredible cosmetics lip products, glazing over in Vibes Tribe and Matte My Day in Too Bad. I'm starting with this lip glaze to give a really sheer color to my lips and I'm just blending it out with a q-tip as I normally do. If you've seen my videos, you're probably tired of this technique at this point. All I do is apply lipstick and then blur it with a q-tip. <laughs> No, but seriously, I love doing that. And then I'm going in with the deeper shade and applying it just to the center of my lips, making sure it's blended out as well. Next, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Lip Tensity in Mulling Spices and just adding that to the outer edges of my lips. Then with the NYX Cosmetics Liquid Suede in Orange County, I'm just adding that to the very edges of my lips just to give it a bit of an orange cast. I thought that the lips were getting a bit too red. I just wanted to bring some of that orange back to it. So I just go back and forth with the different lip products, kind of blending them in together, mixing them up, until I'm finally happy with it. <laughs> then with Sugar Pills Flame Point, I wanted to make everything a little bit more orange, a little bit less red, but I also went back with Love Plus to help blend those colors together. Now I am just smudging some of the red from the Orb of Light palette as close to my lashes as possible and deepening it with a brown. I decided I wanted to make the liner a bit more intense, so I went in with a Flirt Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in Liquid Cocoa, making it thicker on the outer portion of my eye and drawing a little teeny tiny wing. 
Next, for some freckles and highlights, I went in with a Wolf Skins palette, and I used the lightest shade from that palette. I wanted these freckles to be pretty irregularly placed around my face, and I also wanted them to be irregularly shaped, so these are not round freckles. I made them in varying shapes and sizes, just to give a little bit more interest to the general look. I also used that color to paint over my already bleached brows. This just helped to pale them out a little bit more. Then with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Boundless Bisque, I used that to line my waterline. I find that this pencil is the perfect color for making your eyes seem bigger because it's not white, but it's also not quite skin tone. Next, I used the Rimmel Volume Colors Mascara just to define my lashes a little bit before applying falsies. Back with the Wolf Face Paint Palette, I'm doing one of my favorite techniques, which you'll see in a lot of my looks, and that is highlighting the bottom part of my nose and my nostrils. I'm also using it to highlight around my lips, creating little points of light that don't actually exist there. I'm taking off the excess with a Q-tip to try to blend it out. Even though this is a water-activated product, you can still work with it in a way where you layer it so you get a sort of blurred out effect. I also used it very lightly to highlight the center of my eyelids, using a kind of sketchy motion. Then I used it very intensely for a double liner. I put that right above the liner that I had done before. And if there's one thing you take away from this video, let it be this. If you ever want to do a light colored liner, make sure it's above a dark liner. The dark liner will help define your lashes, whereas the light one would not. And by making the lighter liner above the normal liner, it will also help to accentuate it because it won't be so hidden behind your lashes. Now it's time for falsies and I'm using my absolute favorite Rouge and Rogue lashes in Luminara. I also brought the freckles down to my neck area just to make it a little bit more interesting. And went back in with that really pale yellow color to highlight certain areas like right above my cupid's bow where I lost that sense of dimension there because of all the red and orange eyeshadow. Then with that same contouring palette, I used a dark color to actually contour my cheekbones and forehead. And that's the finished look. I thought about doing more of these looks where I recreate drawings and paintings of mine. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!